How did I get here? Hey everyone, Robuscus here, and welcome back to another Let's Watch a Death Battle. Today's episode, we got one that's probably giving me the most upset stomach I've had this entire season. Uh, it is Trunks from Dragon Ball versus Silver from Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, actually, wait, no, it's actually not, because it's actually Xeno Trunks from Dragon Ball Heroes versus Archie Silver from the Archie Sonic the Hedgehog comics. Um, uh, so, uh, before we, before we jump right in, of course, there should be a link in the description below. You can go watch the actual episode yourself. Uh, go support the official release before watching some random guy on YouTube react to it. Alright, got it? Cool. Um, so I should probably explain all of this. Um, uh, cause it, everything looks different, everything sounds different. Um, well, I... At the moment, I'm dog sitting for my parents because they are out. Uh, they went to they went back to Michigan for a wedding. Um, I have zero interest in weddings, so um, uh, I opted out of going. Even though I, well, I guess I wouldn't do this if I wouldn't. I guess I wouldn't be able to do this if I went with them. So I guess I don't regret much. Um, but I am. At the main house, I've mentioned before, I um, I live in an apartment um, that's um, it's literally right over here. <laughs> um, so I live in this, and over here is the main house. Uh, I'm staying here for the week because I need to watch over the dogs. Um, who I have one of them sitting, lying down right next to me right now. Hey, Raven, sit up, sit up. Come here. Come here. Come on. There she is. You can barely see her, probably, but she's here. There, there you go. She's tired. Actually, let me just do this. There you go. Hey, Raven. Say hi. Oh, <laughs> she decided to just say, she just said, just, I guess the puppers is, uh, camera shy. Hmm. Go figure. All right, you can go lay down now. Um, there she goes. Uh, she's going outside. Um, um, anyways, so that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm in my mom's office right now. Um. So, the problem though is that, um, uh, uh, she doesn't have a, uh, like a proper microphone, uh, so I'm using the microphone on the webcam. Um, I would, I would have grabbed mine, but it is pretty much bolted to my desk. I don't think I'm removing that anytime soon. So, we're going to rock with this now. It will be back to normal in the next episode, 100%. Um, it might not be back to, back to normal um, before the podcast. I'm not sure. But, um, um, so, yeah. So that explains everything going on right now. Um, uh, so let's just jump right into this. So Trunks versus Silver. Xeno Trunks versus Archie Silver. Um, so this fight has me, um... On the ed has had me on the edge of my seat for the past two weeks. Um, so when I saw Trunks getting teased before Bond versus Wick came out, um, I thought for sh I knew for sure that he was going to fight Silver, but I thought it was going to be just regular Trunks versus regular Silver, and I was like, well, I guess I gotta watch Silver die again, because um, um, okay. You see these. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying to sugarcoat it. I want Silver to win this fight so freaking bad. Um, uh, and there's a lot of reasons for that. The main ones being, well, for one, I just prefer him in general. I'm more of a Sonic fan than a Dragon Ball fan. Um, this being Dragon Ball Heroes, it doesn't help matters at all. Because... Um, I'm not crazy familiar with Dragon Ball Heroes, but the stuff I do know doesn't have me, um... Doesn't have me interested. Um... 
Um, two, I've seen Trunks win every single versus animation he's ever been in, including against Silver. Um, and uh, I don't have anything against Trunks. I think he's a fine enough character, but I'm kind of sick of it. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of sick of seeing him win every single versus animation. Um, so I'm really hoping that Silver can uh, can change that, especially since a lot of them are against Silver, um, who is a character that I really, really like. Um, um, uh, pretty sure I, I I would need to count, but I'm pretty sure Sonic's win loss record is worse than Dragon Ball's because Dragon Ball had a had, had like a six year win streak. Um, so that doesn't help matters either. Um, uh, there are there are other reasons I'm sure of it, but I can't really name them off the top of my head. Point is, I want Silver to win this fight. Um, I'm hardcore rooting for Silver. The question, though, is will he win? Should he win? Do I think he's going to win? And in that regard, I don't know. <laughs> um, and that's what's really... Um, oh, the, one of the other reasons. I, If you include Excalibur versus Raiden, I'm on a three-episode losing streak when it comes to my preferred characters. So, um... Yeah, I would really rather not make it four. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, I'm I'm pulling for silver. Um, but do I think he's going to win? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Um, <laughs> um okay. So the way I see it is that. Um, there are arguments you can make for both of them to be pretty much immeasurable when it comes to strength and speed. Um, from everything I've gathered, um, Trunks' arguments are a little less concrete. Um, like, Silver's arguments are just like, yeah, obviously. No questions asked. Um, Trunks has me asking a few questions in that regard. Um, well, may maybe not me, but because I, I didn't look into it that much, to be completely honest. Um, I wish I did, but um, I it would have been hard to wrap my brain around. Um, so, um, but I'll I'll play I'll for argument's sake I'll just say they're even. Um, it's pretty much impossible to determine uh, who's stronger and who's faster, except not really because um, the thing is is that. Um, as far as I know, Trunks doesn't have any ways of boosting his own speed, whereas Silver does. Um, so, it kind of makes me think back to um, Wally versus Archie Sonic, where um, like both of them were also immeasurably fast, but Wally had ways of ensuring that he would be faster no matter what happens. Um, it's kind of sounding the same for Silver here. Um, not only that, but I haven't heard any solid arguments for Trunks to be able to resist paralysis, which Silver also has uh, at his disposal. Um, so Silver has ways of slowing down Trunks while also making himself faster. So I think Silver has the speed edge. Um, to me, the big question about this fight is can Trunks outlast Super Silver? Um, and in that regard, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm kind of leaning towards no, which means I'm kind of leaning towards Silver to win this fight. Um, so the thing is, is that Super Silver is completely like invincible and vulnerable. Um, so unless Trunks has any way of getting past that or lasting long enough to um, for Silver's super form to run out, in which case Silver would just be absolutely screwed. Um, um, I don't think Trunks has anything to, to match. Um, like, yeah, he has his own super forms. He has, like, the biggest one is Super Saiyan God. I got that, but the thing is that the Super Saiyan forms... Okay, so the Super Saiyan forms and the Super Hedgehogs have time limits. But the thing is that the, the, the super forms in Sonic, at least in the Archie comics, 
um, last for like 12 hours. Like they go from day into night. Um, so that's 12 hours at least. Um, to my knowledge, no Dragon Ball Super form has ever lasted that long. And I just don't think that Trunks, in it, like if Trunks were to run out of his Super form before Silver runs out of his, then I think Silver's got this in the bag. Um, but that's the question. Like it's, it's really just can Trunks outlast Super Silver? If he can, then he wins. If he can't, then he loses, I feel. Um, um, the biggest thing going for Trunks is the Key Sword, um, which is an insane, uh, an insane piece of equipment. It has an absurd amount of hacks. The thing is, though, is that from my, to my knowledge, Silver has resistance to a lot of it. Um, the biggest one that has me questioning, which might be a big problem for Silver, is Trunks has, like, I've heard arguments that Trunks could, like, shut down Silver's uh, abilities. But the, thing if, but the thing about that is, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, I'm probably wrong, but I'm pretty sure um, uh, Silver has, like, the, 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 the Chaos Force. Um, he has the Chaos Force, which, as far as I know, could replenish his abilities. It replenishes Sonic's abilities. Um, and sure, Silver isn't, like, as um, adept in Chaos Force as Sonic is, but he's still pretty good at it. I'm pretty sure he would learn that it would... I don't, I don't even know if it's a passive... It might be passive? I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that front. Um, but, um... Yeah, uh, I know the community is pretty split on this one. Um, it being Archie Silver definitely helps matters. So I'm going to side with Silver. I could be letting my bias take uh, take the wheel. That has happened before. I fully admit to that. But I think we should stop talking, watch the analysis, and see what's up. So let's do that. may be well known today we're looking at their counterparts from alternate universes he's whiz and i'm boomstick and very easy to explain their weapons armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle i'm cool i'm pulling for you silver let's see what we got trunks first the coolest dragon ball character don't lie when he showed up to prove goku wasn't the only super saiyan around you popped a shenron in your pants after witnessing his entire world okay. slaughtered by a deadly android duo, and using his mother's time machine to hop to the past to make things right, Trunks made his triumphant return to his own time period. But for this version of Trunks, that's where things start to get a bit different, when he was intercepted by this Jojo posing fairy chick, <laughs> the Supreme Kai of Time, Kronoa. She watches over all of time in the Dragon Ball universe, and was forced to arrest Trunks for his alterations to multiple timelines. Welcome to the world of Disney's Loki. Oh, sorry, Dragon Ball Heroes, an alternate huh. universe. No, Xenoverse, where every Dragon Ball story has its own canon timeline. Gonna like if some nerd's weird DBZ fanfiction became totally official. And it rocks. It's true. Like his more well-known counterpart, this Trunks was made to atone for his crime. Inspired a Yu-Gi-Oh card named Tyler. Secret Enforcers. The All right. <laughs> I'll give you one try to guess what the time patrol does. But hey, even if hmm. on his to-do list for the week, Trunks is the perfect guy to protect the whole multiverse. This chair has tried to kill me. <laughs> but also a magic sword straight from the hero of time. No, not him. Not him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even with the differing timelines, I like the chrono uh, appearance. That was cool. Therefore, he possesses all powers the original Trunks has, including the ability to assume the golden form of the Super Saiyan. And gathering key from other life forms to make this ultra huge laser sword. However, he has also performed a divine ritual to unlock godly key within himself, taking on the incredible red visage of a Super Saiyan God. God power mm -hmm. sure does come in handy when he's fighting literal demons, like when the yeah. weirdos revive Mechikabara, the ruler of the demon realm, causing all sorts of time breaks across the Xenoverse. It's kind of a mess. 
Lucky for us, Jocelyn's even nerdy. Hey! useless knowledge have you got for us today? Come on, dude. Knowledge is never useless. Okay, so all the major timelines in I was wondering when she'd show up again. Tomes called the scrolls of eternity. Anytime somebody hopscotches through time, another one of these scrolls poofs into existence. There's just one teensy little problem. There can only be so many scrolls. Once you hit the limit, surprise, you just triggered Cosmic Armageddon. And that's not even counting Oops. all the lesser timelines branching off the main ones Trunks and Co. have to keep track of. Anyway, Trunks and the Time Patrol are some of the only peeps who can time warp without causing these distortions, thanks to unique devices like this armband. Though sometimes a patrolman gets ballsy and tries to mess with time themselves, like when Silas tried to rewrite Dragon Ball Heroes, both the world and the game. Oh yeah, did we mention that? The universe is an arcade game in its own universe. Uh, yes and no. Fun. In the far off future of the Xenoverse, the Dragon Ball Heroes arcade game essentially serves as another method of time travel, allowing future warriors to visit iconic moments in the past. So much for preventing the hmm. Ragnarok of the multiverse or whatever. That's where those lesser time branches come in. They don't count. Just because. These machines also send an avatar of the uh, player back in time, complete with an assortment of collectible cards that can summon facsimiles of well-known characters. That's right. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is a rare reverse hollow now. Trump <laughs> is an avid fan, along with his disciples Beat and Note. Fun fact, Beat is a descendant of GT Goku. Trunks even Good for him. Dual disc style hero switch so he can use his cards on the go. And you thought Trunks was cool before he went full Seto Kaiba. Hell, he somehow made the great Saiyan man look badass. That's huh. how you put polish on disappointment. And I thought that was pretty damn impossible. All these powers, gadgets, and cards. The helmet reminds me of Emerald from uh, Sonic Battle for some reason. Even Super Saiyan 4 Vegito had trouble fighting the Demon King, who created a black hole to consume every timeline in the multiverse. Until Trunks broke out the ultimate Deus Ex Machina, the Key Sword. No, not that one. <laughs> that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This epic blade isn't just a sword. It can completely shut down an opponent's powers. And thanks to being powered mm. by the over there, it can summon the power of the Eternal Time Labyrinth! Which is just really fun to say. Well, even more fun, it traps targets in the crack of time, a bubble of reality outside all timelines with windows into others. And the key sword was powerful enough to finish off Mechicabra in a single strike. Obviously, this puts Xenotrunks in the upper echelons of Dragon Ball power levels, even eclipsing the main timeline. <laughs> wow, <laughs> they're really bringing this up. 13 times over when he first channeled Super Saiyan God. The same Goku who could push through hits time skips and could fly from Grand Kai's planet to hell in less than a minute. Considering the distance between these two realms as displayed in this canon visual model, that would require speeds over 29 quintillion times faster than light. All right. It was even before going God, let alone getting training from Whiskey. Uh, <laughs> Whis and many of Trunks' patrol buddies are just as impressive. Like you! Well, the you who battled Demigra in the Xenoverse game when he had control over all time and space, or the you who fought the demon Shamel who threatened the whole multiverse, you are technically a canon character in Dragon Ball. Congrats, Sai. Fun. Uh, maybe now you can throw that Kamehameha for real. <laughs> oh, come on, you know you want to. <laughs> the bad guys better watch out, because Trunks and his time cops will always be there to stop them and protect time itself. Did they not bring up anything immeasurable for speed? 3437PXE. The world of Mobius has entered an era of dark. I'm reading too far into it. Savage future has been ravaged by unending fires, giant monsters, ecological disasters, and general dystopia of all kinds. But standing Yeah, that happens. Harsh and bleak reality is a lone hero. A young hedgehog with silver quills named uh Silver. silver. <laughs> well, yeah, comic book silver doesn't sound too different from the one in the video games, right? <laughs> Don't count on it. This is a well, comic where all the tales in the multiverse fuse together into this month. He's kind of similar. So strap in for a wild ride. With no family to speak of, Silver was Codename Agent Ace. <laughs> all right. Including the immortal wizard of chaos, Mammoth Mogul. Silver's goal was to become a knight of Cronus, a time-traveling warrior who could save the future by changing the past. Silver's base abilities include super strength and super speed, though mm -hmm. not quite at the same level as those of Knuckles or Sonic, respectively. 
No, but he's still capable of keeping up. Well, I don't know about the strength. Knuckles is pretty insane, but... He's kept up with Sonic. I like the I like the suit that Silver wears. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're one to talk, Boomstick. Funny how, uh, that's the comparison made. Wait, I didn't know about Spawn. <laughs> no timeline or dimension is out of Silver's reach. Though, like bad sushi mixed with vodka, time hopping this way has some weird side effects. Like decoupling Silver from time. So if he causes a real bad butterfly effect, he doesn't get erased like poor Marty McFly. He just has a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Sorry, can you go back to the part about Sonic the Hedgehog meeting mother Spawn? Yeah, I, I didn't know about that. <laughs> I mean, even if it was more straightforward, he's not exactly the sharpest quill on the hog. Good thing Archie Silver is way more bad well, than he was in the video game. He's fought all sorts of epic baddies across that time and space, like Dark Knuckles, Enerjack, Gazunte, who hmm. stole the souls of every Mobian in the world. This guy threw a whole continent at our weed-haired hedgehog. Despite fighting a literal dark god with far more power, Silver won the day by turning evil Nux's own attacks right back at him. Not too surprising. Silver's psychic powers on their own are strong enough to teleport instantly, disrupt any technology, close tears in reality, and stop time from being pulled out of him. Also, according to the Archie Sonic comic encyclopedia, Silver still experienced some version of the events of the Sonic 06 video game. You know, mm -hmm. everyone's favorite. Including yeah, every everyone's favorite. East time, where Silver achieved the invulnerable form of Super Silver. He gets a major boost to match the speed and power of Super Sonic. As Sonic Man, without this supersonic energy, Sonic was already fast enough to outspeed stop time. Let me say that again. Time was frozen, and Sonic could still move. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Naturally, Super Sonic and Super Silver should both be faster than this. But yes. But calculating speed requires a factor of time, and this feat removes time from the equation entirely. This means Super Silver's speed is incalculable. His speed is faster than time itself permits speed to be. That's stupid. That's Archie Sonic. Hardly a Superform's most impressive feat, though. There have been a few occasions yeah. where the Archie Sonic multiverse has been completely demolished and restored, and each one used the same chaos power Super Silver possesses. The most notable, of course, was when Super Sonic teamed up with Super Mega Man to counter the Super Genesis wave. Which completely rewrote all of time and space! Luckily, despite it's true. right at ground zero, the Superforms were immune to the Super Genesis wave's reality warping power, giving Sonic and Mega Man the time they needed to save the entire multiverse. Oh. Oh, no, what about <sighs> yes, even spawn? Oh, thanks, Satan. But even in this huh. brave new world, Silver was nothing short of a hero. As long as this dorky hedgehog is around to keep up the good fight, even the darkest timeline will have a silver lining. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. 
It's time for a death battle uh, through time. Pause. Okay. Okay. I feel like I missed something. <laughs> uh, I really feel like I missed something here. Um, did they really not bring up anything as far as like immeasurable speed feats for trunks? Because they mentioned, they definitely mentioned it for silver. Um, they also didn't mention a time limit on super silver. Um, that might have been in a tab that I missed, but, um... Um... <sighs> I feel like... You know what has me incredibly worried? Is that I feel like this made me even more confident for Silver to win. Um... I still, th I still do think that Silver in his base form stands absolutely no shot against Trunks. Not a chance. Um... But everything for the um, the the shutting down the, the the shutting down powers thing does have me concerned. I will admit, because um, I didn't hear anything that Silver had that could counter it. I thought for sure that the, that Chaos Force could do that, but they didn't say anything about it. But they, it's weird because they said it for Archie Sonic. So I don't know. Ah, man, now I'm now I'm now I'm back to being split. Um. Okay, well, I'm going to stick with my guns. I'm going to go with silver. Um, I really think that, I, that I'm almost positive that I missed something, but just the way they talked about silver compared to how they talked about trunks is it just made it seem like silver had more impressive things to go with. Like, they seemed pretty much even when it comes to power, like I was saying before, but they didn't mention anything as far as, like, um, incalculable speeds for Trunks, whereas they did for Silver. Ignore her. Um. 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 <laughs> um. They mentioned the Super Genesis way, which rewrote pretty much all of the Sonic multiverse, and uh, both... Super Sonic and Super Mega Man survived it, um, or didn't, like, resisted it, or whatever. Um, yeah, okay. I, I'm gonna stop delaying this. I'm gonna go with Silver, um, and if he does win this, I will be so happy. I'm really starting to think that Silver might have the, the chance to win this, which makes me really concerned. Death Battle really likes to take uh, my confidence in my favorite characters and rip them out of me. But... <laughs> I'm really thinking that Silver has the means to win this. Um, so I'm going to shut up. I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to pray for, for Silver to win this. Here we go. Uh, I love this music. I'm also very curious who voices Silver. I know Kaiser is Trunks. But I'm, I, I have not heard anything about who voices Silver, so I'm very curious. I hope you can't hear her. Ignore her. Deflecting that. Uh, preview is over. That's a big boulder. Alright, Super Saiyan. Makes sense. You are going Super Silver that fast?! Wow. <laughs> Oh, I saw that constellation. Ah, crap baskets. Hmm. Just gonna break the moon like that? Come on, give me a good pull. Good. Good enough. Yeah. All right. Seems like a bunch of Dragon Ball OCs. 
Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. That's again with the with the manipulation. Those are some cool effects. That sword. Yep, I knew that sword was gonna break. That's not it. I'm guessing God. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez with these effects. Alright, there's the key sword. I'm curious how this is gonna go. Uh-oh. What's happening? I don't think we're in Mobius anymore. No, you are not. Oh no. This is it. Time on. The end of your future. I told you. Yes. No. Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, come on! Trunks is way past cooler than furry Kyle Reese. It is hard to imagine Trunks losing to anyone. However, <laughs> Silver ironically had just about everything he needed to put the half Saiyan six feet under. First off, time travel wasn't much of a factor since they were both pretty well versed in it. Either way, Silver Psycho can I hope no one heard me. <laughs> My that door is open. Leaving Trunks without his gadgets and primary method of hopping through time. Let's be frank. Shorter super form duration. Silver never stood a chance at matching Trunks with his own power. Even in a super form, it's questionable whether or not Super Silver had the physical ability to match Super Saiyan Trunks. In short, it's practically impossible to lock down exact numbers and limits for their power level. So Trunks could have probably taken away if he found an opening, but Silver's psychic powers have worked around similar disadvantages before. Super Jack was way stronger than him, could match the power of Super Sonic, and conquered all of Mobius. But Silver could consistently Una reverse his attack. <laughs> that smug look on Silver's face, I love it. Trunks was obviously much faster than Goku's trip to hell. He could easily be mm -hmm. sextillions or septillions of times faster than light, maybe even more. However, by the very nature of Dragon Ball powers, his speed must have a limit, even if it is impossible to know an exact number given what we've seen. But Archie's super form got it. All right. Sure, Goku mm -hmm. broke through hit time skip, but that actually has nothing to do with speed. As explained by Whis, the effectiveness of time manipulation in the world of Dragon Ball depends on the difference in power level between the caster and their target. Such as when Kronoa attempted a time stop on Mira and failed, due to Mira's energy being stronger. Zeno vs. Goku has also mentioned how increasing his energy affects space and time around him. In any other matchup, this would be totally buck wild itself. But no, Archie super forms just have to break time itself. <laughs> it's also difficult to put an exact number on Trunks' maximum level of power. The strongest beings in his continuity can affect his entire multiverse, which has infinite timelines plus the crack of time outside. In contrast, chaos magic wielded by a super form like Supersonic can rewrite the infinite timelines in Archie Sonic's multiverse, plus the extra dimensional realms outside, like the Chaos Force, Pocket Zone, Mega Man's own infinite universe, and yes, possibly even a multiverse with Spawn. The scope of Dragon Ball's cosmic scale simply does not compare. Plus, unlike Sonic, mm. Silver spent many years being trained how to use chaos magic by the guy who invented it. How oh, <laughs> reality, wow. After learning he could even use the chaos emeralds at all, imagine what craziness Silver could pull off. Trunks' best chance was the Key Sword's ability to nullify powers, like it did to Mechikabura. However, the Super Genesis Wave explicitly could not rewrite the presence of Super Sonic. Oh, okay. Despite being able to rewrite even the extra dimensional Chaos Force from whence it came, it's likely Silver's Super Form could resist the Key Sword, at least for a time. 
Ultimately, mm -hmm. while there are many versions of this battle where Trunks can win, Silver's superior abilities close out a victory more often than not. To make things brief, Silver was just hogging the spotlight. The winner wow. is Silver the Hedgehog. <laughs> hey, if you want oh, I'm so happy about that. Grab a membership. You'll get exclusive emotes, badges. All right, I'm gonna go back to the voice actors in a second. Stuff. Just click that join button. Thanks for watching. All right, what's next? Liam's been hyping this one up. What? What? Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, um... Uh... Spongebob and Super Friends Aquaman. Okay, then. <laughs> um, I... don't know how to feel about that. I mean, I guess it's... I guess it's a good way of bringing... Spongebob in? Like, they, Spongebob versus Aquaman is a fight that I've seen requested before, but... Wow, I'm confused. <laughs> well, okay, why Super Friends Aquaman? I mean, I guess, I guess regular Aquaman would have slaughtered Spongebob, so I guess I get it, but... I thought Super Friends Aquaman was freaking useless. Um... Hmm. All right then. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're going from one uh, from one fight that features uh, an alternate universe character to another fight that features an alternate universe character. All right. Um, uh, I mean, I can't. I guess I can't really make any solid judgments right now. I mean, I guess I'm gonna say SpongeBob, but I don't know. Um, uh, but right now, I just want to focus on that, on this fight because my gosh, it was so good. I'm so happy about that. Okay. Uh, real fast. Who voiced Silver? Because a lot of people said it was it was actually Bryce Pappenbrook. Okay, so Ultra wrote it. So that's that's good to know. Esu on Steve. What? Why do I get the feeling that that's a... Uh... Why do I get the feeling that that's an alias? Okay, uh, pause the intermission for a second. No one on Earth besides us has any has any clue how strong Super Friends Aquaman is. All right, well, I take back any prediction I had about this fight. <laughs> All right, cue the intermission thing again. question in uh uh in the uh discord chat read it backwards <laughs> uh okay that's bryce <laughs> That's Bryce Pappenbrook. All right. If you don't understand, okay. Um, here is the, um, uh, here's what the thing says on screen. This is, this is what Silver's voice actor is credited as. This is uh, what it reads backwards. Um, 
So, oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I, I didn't even think about that. All right. Um. Um. But all right. Oh my gosh, silver! I'm so happy. Okay. Um. Can I just be up front? That's probably my new favorite episode of the season, and it's really just because of the the amount of joy I felt seeing Silver win. <laughs> um, I am very, very surprised about this, and I'm also very, very happy about this. Um, um, I guess I shouldn't say I'm surprised. I'm... What's the right word? Because like I, I predicted Silver was going to win, but actually... Excuse me. Um, actually seeing it. That was insane. I, li I like that. Um, and the fight was really cool, too. Um, I really like how they implemented the It's No Use line um, for both for both times, really. Um, um, I, 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 saw, I, I saw people talking about how they could implement that into this. Um, and I said, like, if we, we are, we're obviously going to get an It's No Use. Duh. But, um, if we if we get it and Silver's the one that says it, then I want it to be like the most hype thing possible. And I think what they did with it at the end was probably the best thing they could have done for it. Um, um, so yeah. Um, um, but so I mean, the fight was really good. Once I saw Silver, like flickering out of the super form, I was like, oh no, 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 no. Um, but thankfully, thankfully that, um, uh, it didn't quite work out that way, so I'm happy. Um, uh, my losing streak is over, and Trunks finally lost the versus, uh, match. Uh, and Silver finally gets to show off how cool he is. I am comfortable in saying that this is my favorite episode of the season just off of that basis alone um really just the fact that the fight was that good with some incredible voice work um uh some fantastic music and some really good animation um all that feels kind of like a bonus um it really shouldn't be but for for me personally it feels like a bonus um it's like even if this fight was just okay like it was it was good I still probably would have said it was my favorite episode of the season because of everything else around it. Um, um, but yeah, I like this one more than Thor vs. Vegeta, which is something I never thought I would say. Um, <laughs> um, um, like, admittedly, I think the fight, like, bias aside, I think the, the uh, actual combat in Thor vs. Vegeta is better. Um, it's more adrenaline rushing, I guess. Um, this one feels like it's more, like, it's going for a more, like, wacky, insane, throw everything at the wall type of fight, which is fine, that's, it works for the sake of this matchup, but, um, but man, um, I think re really it's just, um, the happiness I feel at the results really kind of elevate it over Thor vs. Vegeta for me, so, yeah. I really enjoyed this episode, and I really hope that my entire neighborhood didn't hear me when I, uh, when I screamed out after I saw the KO. Um, um so yeah, um, I really enjoyed this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it too, and next time we will be watching, um, SpongeBob versus Aquaman, except it's actually Super Friends Aquaman because, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Um, well, I can't say I know anything about that going into it. Um, well, I mean, I know SpongeBob. Who doesn't know SpongeBob? But um, I can't say I know for certain who's going to win. Nor do I really know who to root for. Should I watch Super Friends? I'm <laughs> I'm starting to think about that now. Oh gosh. Um, um, so yeah, um, that's what I have to say. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.